Well, I went up on a mountain to give my horn a blow. I thought I heard me Gabriel sing, yonder comes my bow. Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe. Come and get me, Diamond Joe. You better come and get me, Diamond Joe. Well, I ain't gonna work in the country, feed on Forrest's farm. I'm gonna wait until my baby sings, she gonna call me home. Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe. Come and get me, Diamond Joe. You better come and get me, Diamond Joe. <laughs> set that I'm going to be doing for my friends at Americana Highways, and I hope you will uh, support them with your donations tonight. There is some stuff over in the comments section, which I should probably turn on over here so I can see it too. And uh, Melissa Clark is over there. She can, uh, she's, she's the guiding force behind Americana Highways that has bring, been bringing so much music into people's homes uh, during this time when we can't go out and see the music. So Melissa, thanks a lot for all the work you're doing and all the people who have uh, joined in. Uh, this was actually supposed to be the very first um, uh, live streaming thing I was gonna do and uh, we had some family stuff come up at the last minute and I bailed so this is kind of a, this is a makeup test. And I've had some people contact me in the course of the week asking for some specific songs so I'm I want to make sure that y'all who are out there uh, have an opportunity to hear some of the songs that you're hoping to. This, uh, this one here is one that I have been singing a lot over the last couple of years. Um, I, I wrote it specifically after uh, our neighboring state of North Carolina. I live in... Uh, I live in Georgia, uh, past HB2, more commonly known as the bathroom bill. And uh, unlike so often when writers write songs, uh, the, the, uh, the meanings aren't confined and the usage is not confined to what people 
expect that, or the writer expects it might be. So this has been picked up by a lot of different folks for a lot of different reasons. So, so this is for y'all, and y'all means all. I remember back when I was eight or nine at my grandma's house in the summertime. And every night at six, I'd hear her sweet, slow draw. Y'all come in. Y'all means all. I might not like you. You might not like me. Sometimes that's just the way things can be. But still, I'll catch you if you should fall. Where I come from, y'all means all. Blood is blood, and bone is bone. Kid is kid, home is home. And there ain't no difference I can recall that makes a difference. Y'all means all. Southern thing, it's simple etiquette. You treat folks kindly, sometimes folks forget. They can act plumb me, Neanderthal, like my grandma said. I'm thinking today of, uh, of the amazing story I read yesterday about, uh, the, I'm sure you all heard about it, the scene at Talladega Speedway when Bubba, Bubba Watkins, the uh, lone African-American driver on the uh, NASCAR top pro circuit, uh, who, was, who was the driving force behind getting all Confederate flags banned from NASCAR events and who had received lots of threats um, far more than the supposed noose that was that was in his garage and all the other drivers at the beginning of the race before the national anthem pushed Bubba's car to the front of the line and they all stood with him including Richard Petty who was uh, a Hall of Fame NASCAR uh, 
driver and their and their and who owns the team that uh, Bubba Watkins um, drives for. And it was an amazing scene of solidarity. I'm sure that those drivers come from lots of different backgrounds and have lots of different opinions about just about everything. But when one of their own was threatened, well, y'all means all. It's a lesson for all of us. And uh, right from the heart of the deep south. So maybe people can start uh, thinking a little differently about who we are down here. Uh, you know, I have been, uh, the, some of you may have noticed that I was a, little, a couple of minutes late getting on because uh, my internet just decided to cut out. And, uh, uh, and so I couldn't get my, my remote camera working, uh, which is how I usually play my hammer dulcimer, but I did find something um, That'll maybe satisfy those of you who are tuning in to hear some Hammer Dulcimer. Hi, I had a couple of requests to play some Paul Van Arsdale tunes here on the Hammer Dulcimer. So here they are, the Nisku and a Ramble and the Dulcimer Reel. Both tunes taught to me and composed by Paul Van Arsdale. left to go, so I want to get around to some other things. Uh, did have a, a request for, uh, for this song right here. Uh, it's off of my latest uh, collection, which is called Cabin Fever, uh, songs from the, uh, from the quarantine. These are all songs that I wrote during my three-week quarantine up at my North Georgia cabin. I wonder just what kind of answer 
sister I might be at last Uh, if anyone is inclined to uh, pass any tips my way, this is uh, this whole new world. It's an awful lot like busking, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but uh, I have a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, live concerts coming up that I did want to take an opportunity to tell you all about. Um, the first uh, is, is I'm resuming my Sunday afternoon concerts, which are at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday afternoons. And uh, I do a different theme every week and often have guests. And this time I am going to be featuring um, uh, people who have been at my songwriting camps at the Highlander Center in East Tennessee, all of which unfortunately have been canceled due to the uh, uh, pandemic this year we're all gonna we're gonna launch them again next next summer uh, but I've chosen four or five people who are gonna perform a song that they wrote at camp and talk a little bit about it and uh, give you an entree into some brand new young and some not so young songwriters on the first of July at noon Eastern time I'm very proud to be a part of of an event put on by the uh, Archive of American Folk Song at the American Folk Life Center in the Library of Congress. Uh, back in the 70s and 80s, um, before I got so busy out on the road, I spent an awful lot of time doing field recordings around Appalachia, but also in the Soviet Union and in Nicaragua and uh, in Canada and uh, all over the place, um, and in the Caribbean, places that I was visiting. Um, and bringing back uh, music from those countries. And it's all housed at the Library of Congress, and they ha are putting on a noontime uh, show every Wednesday, and they asked me to do a little show and hang around for a chat afterwards, so I will be doing that on the first. There's more coming up uh, up here in, the, uh, in that corner, uh, my website. You can sign up for my uh, newsletter, and you'll find out more than you ever wanted to know. Um, but uh, I want to sing a brand new song uh, because I have been writing uh, since, uh, since the quarantine uh, and uh, it hasn't all been about the quarantine. And certainly Cabin Fever is not all about the quarantine. But um, Okay, you all have the dubious distinction of being the very first people to ever hear the song. I have no idea how I'll meet my end. No, the old Grim Reaper is waiting around the bend. No matter how you fight, fret, or fuss, that come for each of us. There's no use denying or trying to pretend. Now I live in Georgia, and I bet you've heard. That denial is our governor's favorite word. Yes, we find it is endemic in the midst of this pandemic. He issued proclamations that were just absurd. He said it's time to get back to our lives, despite the danger to our kids and wives. 
go get a workout, a tattoo, then go bowl a game or two, cross your fingers and hope everyone survives. Now lots of folks will do just like he said, and in spite of all the grim facts forge ahead, everything is black and white, everything is left or right, but in fact the real choice is between alive or dead. But I won't be killed by stupid no siree. I've done some crazy things in life, but you can't fit that on me. Ignorance is curable, stupidity is more durable. After all that we've been through, what's another week or two? Those on the front line get a lot more work. Cause we all are behaving just like jerks. Just takes a little thoughtfulness, patience, don't you see? And you won't be killed by stupid no siree. Just takes a little thoughtfulness and patience, don't you see? And you won't be killed by stupid no siree. It ain't Dostoevsky, but it needed to be said. I won't be killed by stupid. And let's see, we have uh, we have a few more minutes on here. And um, oh, I was asked to do this because, of course, it was National Donut Week not long ago, or National Donut Day. If you drove by a donut store, they would give you free donuts. So of course, my grandkids and I. Broke the quarantine and went to Krispy Kreme. Because of sweet cuisine, I aim to sing peculiar to the South. Tis just about the finest thing one can put in one's mouth. So delicate, a taste divine. Its glories must be sung. Its texture, light, and scent sublime. It melts upon the tongue. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, melts upon the tongue. It's a good thing we're so informal here, isn't it? Uh, of sweet cuisine, I aim to sing peculiar to the South. Take 2.0. Of sweet cuisine, I aim to sing peculiar to the South. It's just about the finest thing one can put in one's mouth. So delicate, it tastes divine. Its glory must be sung. Its texture, light, and scent sublime. It melts about the tongue. Alas, it is not ever so. Its glory soon is gone. But be assured, the soul is stirred. When e'er the red light's on. Sure all true-hearted Southerners by now know what I mean. I come to sing the praises of the humble Krispy Kreme. I was driving by the other day down West Ponce de Leon when in dawn's light I saw the sight, the shining bread, red, bright red neon. I did rejoice. I had no choice. I joined the joyous queue. Once not enough, four is too many, two are one too few. So I found a spot with coffee hot and three fresh donuts hotter sitting in the parking lot with my young stepdaughter, our chins a drool and sticky bliss, eyes rolled back in our heads next to a three-piece business suit and a homeless guy in dreads, a mother with three kids in tow, four cops, a firefighter, two students in the afterglow pulling an all-nighter, each lost in silent ecstasy there in the early dawn, victims of sweet alchemy whene'er the red light's on. There are few things in life today that render all men one. We fight and squander time away until our time is done. We argue this, we challenge that, till hope is woe be gone. But all we fought is quick forgot whene'er the red light's on. Like beauty, too, its time is fleet. In five or ten short minutes, it is an ordinary treat. No glory left there in it. I will not stop for ones in shops that lie grown cold and hard in bright displays for days and days in wanton disregard. For I've traveled far and I've sampled all your beignets and your muffins. Our, your, your cakes and rays are to be praised with cream or jelly stuffings and Dunkin' Donuts. Please come on. Are piteous excuses compared to when the red light's on and what that sight induces. So I'll live a life of sin, it seems, involving fresh hot donuts. I'll carry around a few more pounds and we'll be worth it, won't it? 
And on that day, life slips away, and I find what waits beyond. At Pearly Gate, I'll stand and wait until the red light's on. Well, it looks to me like I've got time for a very short song, and I promise I will be out of here by 9 o'clock so that uh, the, next, the next few folks can... Uh, can uh, join in here and um, let's see when all of this is over we're given the all clear we venture up back in public and no longer have to fear as we think back on these past months and how things used to be I wonder if we'll jump back in quite so eagerly had time for reading, for board games and for cards, for getting in our gardens and for cleaning up our yards. Oh, we tried outrageous recipes, even learned how to bake bread, we called our loved ones on the phone, spent lots more time in bed. Oh, sure, we binge watched too much Netflix, blew entire days, and we drove each other crazy in a hundred different ways. Supper we had breakfast and for breakfast had ice cream. We learned how to be bored again, found the time to dream. So when all of this is over and from quarantine we're free, I suspect there'll be some changes in how things used to be. Cause we can each get by with less and we can each want so much more. Cause what matters truly matters. This is all. What matters truly matters. All of this is all. Thanks a lot, folks. There's another uh, great show coming up here on Americana Highways. Thanks to Melissa for so much for inviting me to be a part of this. Uh, please uh, support them. Please support me. Check out my Patreon page. Go to folkmusic.com. You'll find out. More than you ever wanted to know. See you Sunday, 3 o'clock, my Facebook page. Bless you all. Stay safe. Stay healthy. <laughs>